ladies and welcome back. I hope you all are doing well. So last week I did a video on five fast fashion brands that elegant women avoid. And you guys really loved that video. So what I decided to do today was sort of a sequel to that video wherein I'm going to be talking about how to choose high quality clothing and still look elegant. The three parts that I'm going to be breaking this video down in is going to be the construction of the garment, the quality and then materials. So we're going to be talking about those three components that's going to help you in choosing a high quality garment no matter where you shop. One of the things I've learned over the years is not only are the high street clothing brands cutting corners, but also those that are really expensive brands, they are also cutting corners as well. So this video is going to help you be able to identify a high quality garment, whether you're shopping in a luxury retail shop or whether you're shopping in a high street shop. So if you're interested in learning about these topics, then please watch the video to the very end. And without further ado, let's jump straight into today's video. So the first way that I want to recommend that you can shop for high quality clothing is to shop pre-loved and also resale. One of my favorite shops here in Atlanta where I live is called Labels. And Labels has seven resale shops around the Atlanta area and they are privately owned and they don't have shops in any other states except for Atlanta because this is a locally owned company. So shopping pre-loved can allow you to find some really high quality garments that have been gently used. And so this is going to be a place that I highly recommend you source wherever you are living. Now, the only caveat to shopping in resale shops is you have to be very patient and you have to take time in looking through those items that are in there. There are some gems in these little resale shops and I probably bought about five dresses from Labels Resale Shop last year and I love buying pre-love because I found not only dresses that were well made, but blazers that were made in Spain and belts that were made in Italy. So shopping pre-love is going to be one of my number one recommendations for you in finding high quality clothing. So the first component of choosing a high quality garment is in the construction of that garment. Now, what are high quality garments made of? They are usually made of materials like linen, wool, cashmere, silk, cotton. And so these are very natural materials made up of natural fibers. So they're going to stand the test of time. They're going to be very strong and durable materials. So you always wanna make sure that you check what type of material the garment is made of or constructed with. So what I'm going to do is just show you a few of the materials that I'm talking about that are very high quality and well constructed. Now these materials like cotton, wool, linen, and silk are going to not only last longer, but they're going to fit well on the bodice. Now the quality of the item is going to be determined by the type of yarn used to construct the item, the weight of the fabric, and also how that item is sewn together meaning how it is constructed, whether or not the seams are well constructed, they're straight, they're very tight. And so this is going to determine the quality of the entire garment. Now, I wanted to show you just a few examples of some high quality sweaters. And the first one is 100% cashmere. And I have taken out the tag in this sweater because I just don't like tags in my sweaters. So I've taken this one out. 
but this is one of my favorite sweaters to wear. It is a 100% cashmere sweater and I just really love it. It is very soft on the skin and it's just well constructed. This is the sweater that I wore on the plane when we were flying to Provence a couple of months ago. And not only was it comfortable, but it just feels like a nice warm blanket on the body. So I just really love this sweater. So this is the first one I wanted to show you. Now the next cashmere sweater I wanted to share with you is this one. And this one, I left the tag in it because the tag is a little bit softer than the one I showed you previously. That one was more itchy. Now cashmere can come in different forms. Some cashmere is softer than others, but this one is a little bit rougher than the cashmere in the green sweater, but I still think it is a very high grade of cashmere and it feels really, really soft when I put it on and it's not itchy. So this is another well-made garment and you look at the seams and how they're sewn around the shoulder area here they're very even just to embrace the shoulder area, which in turn makes the garment fit. Now these next two shirts are 100% silk. This one that is in this really, really beautiful sort of rose pink color is from Lily Silk. And I absolutely love this silk top and it is so well constructed. Now silk is one of those fabrics that will trap in heat so you can wear silk year round. I love wearing silk this time of the year as well as in the spring and the fall. And so this is such a beautiful material to add to your wardrobe. So this one is, I'm going to show you the different types of silk, but they're both really high quality. This one is also 100% silk. This one is from Banana Republic. But if you look at the two fabrics, this one is a little bit more shinier silk than this one right here. Therefore, this one is a higher quality of silk than this one is. But either way, they are both really good high quality materials. Now the next thing you wanna look for when choosing a well-made high quality garment is the seams. The seams of a well-made garment should be straight and neat and there should be no loose threads. Now I wanted to show you guys an example of this because I have made this mistake in the past before I started curating the wardrobe that I have right now. So if you look at this shirt right here, I want to show you some loose thread. If you can see right here, there are loose threads all on this seam that's coming down the back of the shirt. I'll tug on it. There are loose threads that are going all the way down the seam of this garment. And when I checked what the garment is made of, the garment is made of 100% polyester and already this shirt is starting to unravel. So polyester is a material that you can usually find in poorly constructed items. And also polyester is a material that's going to be cheaper to purchase. However, that item is not going to stand the test of time. So this is a perfect example of a material that has threads that are loose and that they're not neat. So this is not considered a high quality garment. Now the next thing you want to look for when choosing a high quality garment is stitching. Now the stitching of a high quality garment should hold together well even when tugged on and there should be no holes in between the seams. Now one of the things I wanted to share with you is when you're looking at stitching, sometimes when stitching has a little bit of zigzag to it, that means the garment is poorly stitched. So I wanted to show you ladies one of my favorite sweaters. I wore this sweater in France and 
I really, really love it. It is by the company Rag and & Bone. And Rag and & Bone do some really good quality clothing in case you wanna check into that brand. I really do love them. And if you take this item and you look at the seam in the back of the shoulder here and you tug on it, there should be no gaping, no holes and the stitching should not pull apart. And this is as tightly as I can stretch this. So that means that this item is a well-made garment and I should have worn this today for you guys. I just love this stripe on this. Anyway, let me get back on topics. So how an item is stitched really does matter. Now the next thing you wanna look for in choosing a high quality garment is the fit. A high quality garment should drape the body well. It should not be too loose or too tight. It should fit in the shoulders. It should fit in the waist and the hip. Now, wearing things that are too tight is not going to give you that polished, sophisticated and elegant look. And it also brings out flaws in the material of some items when things are fitting the body too tight. And even when they fit too loose, they really don't give you that elegant and put together look. So you wanna make sure that you are paying attention to the fit of the clothing. And usually when items are very well crafted and very well made, they're going to drape the body beautifully. They're going to show off your beautiful silhouette and it's just going to give you a very polished and put together look. So we always wanna make sure that we pay attention to how our clothing is fitting us now. I do not like to wear really tight items on my body, even though I am very slender. I just don't think it looks very elegant in my opinion. I like to wear things that fit me properly. Now, I, things that show off my silhouette, things that enhance my figure. And this to me looks very smart. It looks very elegant and very polished. And sometimes I will buy my trousers a little bit too big simply for the relaxed fit, especially if they are trousers that I'm going to be traveling in or doing a lot of walking around in. I usually buy a looser fit than what I originally wear. So paying attention to the fit of your garment is going to be the next thing in choosing a high quality garment. So let's talk about high quality fabrics. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, those are primarily going to be fabrics like merino wool, although there's different types of wool like alpaca wool, which is very, very soft and very durable. So wool, silk, linen, cotton, cashmere, these are very high quality materials. And these materials should also have a color match. And neutral colors are from nature. And so these materials are sourced from a natural source. And you wanna pay attention to garments that already have colors that are fading. Now, I know you can purchase things that are faded because some people really do like that type of aesthetic, but personally it is not my aesthetic because I really just don't think it looks very polished and put together. But in hindsight, you wanna make sure that the materials that you buy are not already fading. And if you purchase something and you can see that the dye is already changing colors after you washed it, then that is a clear indication that the garment was very poorly dyed. And a lot of times garments that were poorly dyed and they start to fade after one wash can also ruin other clothes that you put along with it. So this is the main reason that you wanna pay attention to how the color match of a garment is going to stand up to the test of time. But what I would say is that you can rarely go wrong with neutrals because not only do they not fade as quickly as garments that are 
dyed, but also the color looks very crisp. It looks very polished for many years to come. Now, this thing called tie dye that a lot of people have gravitated towards, and you ladies know if you've been on my channel that I am not a fan of tie dye, but if that is your aesthetic, then I love that for you, but it is just not one of my things that I think looks very elegant or very polished. But tie dye is one of those things that have been purposely dyed for that specific look. But what I'm talking about is materials that are certain colors that change colors in the machine after the first wash. So pay attention to the color match of the garment. Now the next component in choosing a high quality garment is the garment quality. Now the garment quality can be determined even before you purchase the item by just doing a little bit of an inspection. And let's talk about how to inspect the garment. The first thing you could do is check and see how the item is weaved together. If an item is poorly weaved, then most likely the entire garment is poorly weaved. So you wanna look at those, the weave structure and how it's been sewn together. Are the seams straight or do they curve and twist? And not only does this not look elegant when you put it on, but this is a clear indication that that item has been poorly sewn together. The second thing is shrinkage. Now, I talked about this just a little bit ago, but if you wash an item one time and it shrinks, then this is a poorly made garment. Again, checking, inspecting these items before you purchase them, look at the quality of the material, looking at the weave structure, looking at how the item has been sewn, are the seams straight? This is going to determine whether or not there was actual time and effort put into constructing this garment. But if you wash the garment one time and that garment shrinks in any way, shape or form, then this is a clear indication that it is a poorly constructed garment. Now let's touch again on color matching. When I talked about color matching the garment, take for example, this sweater that I have on right here. And by the way, I do love this sweater. This is in sort of a cream, but it is a weaved type of sweater and it is 100% cotton and it really is a well-made sweater. And I wanna just come a little bit closer so you can actually see how well this sweater that I'm wearing was made. And if you look at the seams and how straight they are, look at the weave on this it is absolutely beautiful and even going down the front of the sweater is weaved so perfectly and around the collar of the neckline so these are things to look for when you are inspecting the garment now this is an oatmeal color and i think it is like either a natural cream or an off-white it is a color that is very natural that is very earth toned so this sweater is not going to fade and I have washed it several times and it's also well crafted. Now the next thing you wanna inspect on a garment before purchasing it are things like zippers, buttons, and the lining of the item. Any items that are well made and are well crafted should have a high quality zipper. It should have lining that is not draping out of the bottom of the garment are looking like, have you guys ever seen a car that has the lining of the top of the car dropping down? That is the same thing that I've seen on certain garments and that means that it is poorly crafted. If the inside of that garment is dropping underneath the main material of the garment, that is a very poorly made garment. So you wanna pay attention to also the buttons, the linings and the zippers. Now I made this mistake about three years ago with a pair 
of pants that I bought from Mango. I don't buy from them anymore because I bought two items from them. One was a pair of shoes and those shoes disintegrated on me in Italy. They actually, the seams came open when we were walking around in Italy and I looked down and I noticed that my foot was out of one of the shoes. The seam had completely come apart while I was walking around in Rome and I was so embarrassed. So my husband and I had to go and buy a pair of shoes while we were in Italy, which I was not mad at because I did get something that was very high quality. However, I also bought a pair of pants from Mango and I couldn't even wear them because the zipper broke before I even got to put the pull the pants up. The zipper was so poor quality. And I think the highest quality zippers are those that are made from like YTK or something like that on the zipper. I can't remember. Let me know in the comment section below what the brand is, if you ladies know of the really well-made zippers. But nevertheless, I had to put a zipper in the pants that I bought from Mango even before I was able to wear them. So I do not shop for Mango anymore. And that is one of those brands that I stay away from. Now, if that is something you love, then of course, feel free to shop wherever you choose. But I just haven't had no success with the clothing that I have purchased from Mango in the past. And now that I am curating a wardrobe that I don't have to keep spending money over and over again, and I can wear these items that are in my wardrobe for years to come, I don't shop at those places that I'm going to have to be replacing these items over and over again. So I wanted to show you about three things that I really love. I'm gonna use a couple of blazers that I have. This one, you guys have seen in some of my previous videos, but I purchased this blazer from Labels Resale Boutique. And this one is by a brand called Better Loche, and it was made in Spain. And look at the stitching, first of all, around the collar of this jacket. And then let me show you the interior. Look at how they paid attention to the lining. It's just beautiful. It's just so well done. And I just think it's just absolutely beautiful. And then the next thing I'm gonna show you ladies to also pay attention to are buttons. But look at the buttons on this. They are absolutely beautiful. They don't look cheap, they don't look and I've had this, this jacket for going on two and a half years now, and it's also one that is pre-loved. So somebody wore it before me, and it's still standing the test of time. But look at the craftsmanship of the buttons. You see no loose thread. They're very heavy buttons, very well made. So the next blazer I want to share with you is this one. This one I got from Banana Republic and this one, Banana Republic is a little bit pricey, but their clothing is very well made. So I would highly recommend that if you're interested in high quality items, Banana Republic is one of those brands that are not really luxury, but they are very affordable, but also high quality, if that makes any sense. And this one was made in Jordan of Italian fabric. So if you look at, read the labels and look at what the materials are made of, then that is a clear indication that this is going to stand the test of time. So I wanna show you the interior of this one. They also, sewed in this pocket with a beautiful button on here and a crest, but this is just absolutely beautiful, made of Italian fabrics. And also the stitching on the interior, and I wanna show you this side as well. Look at the satin on the inside of this blazer. And also they put these beautiful crest marks 
on the inside and then there's another pocket on this side right here and then I want to show you the buttons as well on this jacket this jacket has some nicely crafted buttons on it as well the other jacket had metal buttons but you can see there's no threads coming out of the buttons there's no loose threads or anything and they're sewn very straight and perfect so this is a a really good indication of an item that is very well made and that is high quality and then the very last thing i want to talk about in knowing how to choose a high quality garment is the resistance now a well-crafted garment is going to stand the test of time there's not going to be any stretching of the item it's not going to stretch out of shape it's not going to fade it's not going to shrink so the resistance of a garment is going to tell you whether or not you spent your money well or if you've made a mistake in buying the garment so the, how the garment holds up is going to matter and it's going to tell you if you've made a good choice or if you need to rethink the choices you make in the future. So that is all I wanted to share in today's video and I hope it has been helpful to you ladies. And if it was, before you leave the video, please hit that like button as that helps my channel out. And it also tells me what type of videos you guys enjoy watching. And also, if you have just been watching my videos and you haven't yet subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that you get notified every time one of my videos go live. Thanks for watching ladies and I'll see you in my next video.